Hey guys, so this video is going to be different because I've been making music stuff for the past couple months now, but I thought about it and I'm going to be making icebergs and other commentary stuff. Not really commentary, but you know. So yeah, so what we're going to be covering today is the Murder Mystery Iceberg, or MM2 for short. And basically before we get into any of this, I'd like to shout out Santiago Isn't Funny for helping me. And also the user that made this iceberg which is willow underscore taken on reddit make sure you go check them out and upvote their posts i guess i don't know <laughs> all right well please enjoy the murder mystery 2 iceberg layer one jd jd is probably the biggest mm2 content creator as of now and is pretty popular with around 900k subs to their name Around 2019, they got their own legendary knife and MM2 that you could only get if you bought merch or won a giveaway. Nowadays, you can only get this knife from trading. Nicholas. Nicholas is well known in the Roblox community for creating the game MM2. He has also created many other games such as Trucking Tycoon, Crazy Obstacles, Epic Building, and Hangout. Every single one of them except MM2 have closed due to getting little to no players. Trading. Trading is a huge part of MM2. You can trade guns, knives, pets, mystery keys, and other sorts of objects. Recently, you can now only trade if you're level 10 or higher. This is also one of the biggest ways people dupe items in the game. Copy pasters. You have probably seen these people in all different types of games, but most of them are in MM2. They all really look the same, which is how they got their name, because in essence, they really just copy and paste each other as outfits and call it a day. They are also really toxic, and half the time are teaming with their other toxic friends. Coins Coins are a form of currency used to buy items in the shop, like crates, effects, and pets. Coins spawn on the map, and you can collect up to 40, but elite players can collect up to 50. Fun fact, the original currency of MM2 was actually called points before it was called coins. Emotes. Emotes are, well, emotes that you can buy in the game with gems and sometimes coins. According to the wiki, some items that I'll show you on the screen right now are considered emotes, which I think that's pretty cool. Crafting is one of the basic features in MM2. Crafting means you can craft an item, like a knife or a gun, without having to buy a crate. To craft, you need to get shards, and you get them by salvaging the weapon of the desired tier. Shards can go from common to godly. You can also get medals from salvaging. Godlies. Godlies are the second best tier you can get in the game. You get godlies from crates, crafting, game passes, events, and trading. Godlies are knives and guns. Some can be limited, and others can be game passes, etc. Layer 2. Xylik. Xylik is well known in the MM2 community for being one of the builders for the game. Old Lobby. The Old Lobby was from October 2015 to October 2017 until it was changed into the current lobby. Here are some photos of it. Teddy Bear Glitch. The Teddy Bear Glitch allowed you to glitch through walls. Um, here's some footage of it happening. Scammers. Of course, with any trading game, there's going to be scammers, and MM2 is one of the worst victims of this for beginners. There have been multiple different types of scams over the past couple years. Radio slash Elite Game Passes There have only been two game passes in the game's lifetime, Radio and Elite. Radio lets you have access to the radio item, which allows you to play music. The Elite Game Pass allows you to have an Elite name tag in the server list, lets you get more coins during the games, Elite Knives, and an Elite Pet. Layer 3 Old Glitching Techniques There have been many glitches in MM2. One of the first ones that come to mind is the Antlers Glitch, where if you bought these antlers in the Roblox catalog, you can glitch into the roof. Duplicators Back when crafting was first introduced to the game, People found ways to duplicate items using a certain item to duplicate godlies. Slouse. Slouse is an admin for MM2. He also has his own knife called Slouse's Clown that was given to him by the owner. Corrupt Knife. The Corrupt Knife is one of the rarest knives in the game, only available because in 2019, people logged into MM2 with all their items being deleted from their inventory as a sorry. Nicholas gave everyone who lost their items a corrupt knife. Vintages. Vintage items are weird. They are from Murder Mystery, the first game that is now deleted. They are originally named classic items. They can't be salvaged anymore. They can only be traded. 
Glitch Knife Origins. This knife was originally obtained from a duplicated Batwing. When Batwing came out, it was mass duplicated to combat against the dupers, ruining the value of Batwing. Nicholas changed all the duplicated Batwings into the Glitch Knife. Nick Scythe. Nick Scythe is an ancient scythe, which is the best rarity in the entire game. The knife was given to players who helped report bugs to Nicholas or close friends of his. There is no way he could obtain it besides being Nicholas's close friend. The knife is a blue reskin of Batwing. There are only seven confirmed owners of the scythe. Also, the scythe is impossible to duplicate, as it has been coded for only those people to receive that scythe. If someone were to duplicate it, it would instantly be deleted from their inventory. Bioblade 150 value. I'm guessing this just means that a long time ago, the Bioblade value was 150 instead of the low value it is now. I found some info, but it's just a Reddit post from two years ago saying that MM2 values changed the value for the Bioblade to 150. If you have any more info about this, please tell me in the comments. Removed crates. These are the crates that have been discontinued, or in other words, removed from MM2. These crates include Legendary Box, MLG Box, Common Box, Uncommon Box, and Rare Box. Although these crates are gone, the items in the crates are still obtainable through trading. There are also a lot of other crates which will be on the screen now. MLG Update Removed the MLG update included the MLG box which had the MLG knife. This was later removed and was replaced by the Chroma update and the shiny knife. Rare MM1 footage. This is just footage from the MM1 era before it was deleted and replaced with MM2. I think it's pretty cool. The link will be in the description if you want to see it for yourself. Shadow visual bug. Uh, I have no idea what this is. I'm guessing it's just a bug that happened where the shadows were all weird. If you have any more info on this, please tell me in the comments so I can at least update the description or add a comment. I don't know. I'll pin it. Game tester roll. The only real information I have on this is a screenshot of someone that has it. I'm guessing you got it if you were a game tester for the game. That's really it. <laughs> Scrapped JD Scythe. JD Scythe was a scythe made by the JD channel and was going to be in the game. Sadly, it's been a year since any official updates have came out from the JD channel, so it's assumed that it has been scrapped and is no longer going to be coming out. But they also released the JD Scythe as a UGC item for the catalog. <laughs> trade Shutdown. There has been trade shutdowns in the history of MM2. One that I can find that happened in 2019 was well trading will shut down here's the official tweet from the owner talking about it auto accept bug this is a bug in the game i have no idea if it's common or not but there is a video of it proof happening which i will show now yeah that's crazy i don't know if it's been patched or not i think it is but if it isn't let me know and also share some stories in the comments if this has affected you in any way i'd like to hear them Rare kill effects. Kill effects are something you buy for your knife or gun, so when you kill someone it has an effect on them, but they've never been classified in the MM2 rarity list like knives or guns. Maybe this is talking about the effects you could only get through events like Christmas or Halloween, but other than that, no info. If you have any info on this, please leave it in the comments and I'll heart it and reply. <laughs> MM3 announcement tweet. This tweet that I'm showing you on the screen is really the only thing I could find, and it's from 2015. There's another tweet from Nicholas that Murder Mystery 3 doesn't exist, and that if any other games that have the name Murder Mystery or Murder Mystery 3 are complete ripoffs. And if there's any more like evidence of an MM3 announcement or anything really that involves MM3, please tell me in the comments because I'm really lost. Nightclub map. Nightclub was an unreleased map by Thexes, a builder for Nicholas. It has been unreleased since 2017. There is also a picture of it in the map NS Office. MM1 Build Removals Multiple maps from MM1 were removed after Nicholas acquired builders for the games. 
Maps like Crossroads or the two lab maps have now been discontinued. TF2 References I think it's pretty obvious at this point that the team behind MM2 are big fans of TF2. One instance of this is with the gun Big Kill. An obvious reference to the gun from TF2, it even has the same name. CC Promotional Game could possibly mean the promotional item sold from the online shop where you can get the eternal knife in game if you bought a shirt from their merch shop secret storyline we literally couldn't find anything for this please tell us what it means in the comments even if you have a little info it still helps and yes you will be credited and your comment will be hard or whatever i'll figure out something but yes please thank you lost slash cut slash removed content this is basically just, well, what the iceberg said. I'll provide some screenshots to show some stuff that was removed from the game. Spoiler alert, it's a lot, and I'm only going to show some of it, so make sure to pause if you need to. <laughs> Missing Ritual Room. We could find no information on what this means, and could most likely be a rumor that never existed, either made up by the devs or players that just wanted to scare the other players, I guess. There have been a lot of secret rooms like the one in the lobby, but there has never been a ritual room, to our knowledge at least. If you have any more info on this and want to share it, then say it in the comments, I guess, and I'll reply or heart it, whatever, you know. And we are finished. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, I guess, and like the video, or you could just leave. I really don't mind, but if you actually made it to the end, Thank you, I appreciate you, and I hope you stick around because I have a lot of other videos that are going to be coming out this year. And yeah, Happy New Year. Thank you, Santiago and Willow underscore Taken for the iceberg. And thank you, especially to Santiago, for helping me with the script and everything. And yeah, check out Santiago's channel, and everything will be linked into the description. So if you want to check out stuff on your own, then go ahead. And yeah, I'll see you later.